I wanted to ask a question. How many of you have ever felt like if I just knew the right people, I could launch my idea? If I knew uh, just the right person, I could get my business off the ground. If I had the right team, then I could manifest some great things. If I had that marketing machine behind my vision, I could live a dream. How many of you felt like if I just knew somebody in town that could really help me, I could get my vision out faster. If I just had my parents in my life, I wouldn't have experienced the things that I I have experienced. If I just had a good partner in my life, it would be that much easier for me. If I just had a moment to catch my breath and just go on a vacation, it doesn't have to be anything elaborate, just maybe the next city over, the next day over. If I had, if I had. Have you ever found yourself wondering about that if you had just the connection i want you to understand that when you're in a wilderness experience it's a certain type of mindset that we have that we really don't realize that we have when you're in a wilderness experience everything that you used to know it's gone and you have awakened to who you are, but now you're just in the midst of this gray area and you don't have an answer. See, when you're in the midst of the wilderness, there is a separation from what you used to have for what you need to do. It's like a separation in between you and what you had, and you, and where you're going. That's like a wilderness experience. If I knew the right people, I could have so much more. If I had the right team, I could be so much farther. If I had the right investors, I could launch that business. If I had more money, I could pour more into my dream. If I had that husband, if I had that wife, I could have a help me or a partner here to just live my life with. Have you ever had that thought? I want to give you a solution. See, in the middle of the separation in the wilderness, the whole purpose of the separation is for you to literally get right with you. And in the midst of getting right with your issues, you find God on a whole nother level. See, the purpose of the separation from the life that you used to have, it wasn't what God had intended for you to do. You had been in that situation for so many years, but God has something so much bigger for you. See, sometimes we end up in situations that we left because we never should have been in those situations in the beginning. See, sometimes we were even get ourselves so heavily connected in an area that we know we're not supposed to be, but so we can save face or so we can, you know, be like everyone else or so that we could just use that situation to remedy the pain, to cover the insecurity, to cover the loneliness, to cover the lust, just to cover things that we don't want to deal with. But then when we get the awakening, God pulls us out of the situation. So here we stand in the middle of nothing. We're separated from what we used to know. See, sometimes your mind will play tricks on you and say, you know, it's just easier for you to go ahead on and go back because at least you know this about this relationship or at least you know this about this way of living or at least you had that but it that and this was not what God had ordained for you the children of Israel complained even though they were in bondage and enslaved and treated harshly in the middle of that wilderness 
they felt like, well, if we had it better where we were. See, some of you were not treated right. Some of you were not living your true potential. Some of you were not elevated in your consciousness, in your level of spirituality and your relationship with God. Some of you could not be free to be who God has called you to be in that old situation that you were in, whatever it may be. Everybody's different. But now who you stand, you, you took the jump, you made the decision to go into this gray area. And now you are experiencing the separation. Now, all of the insecurities have began to resurface. Now, the lust has begun to show its head. Now, the loneliness is beginning to talk to you. Now, all of the things that you had when you were in that previous situation that you used people places and things to cover it up. Now you're in a situation where you are bare before the Lord in this wilderness experience. No one is there to save you. No one is there to feed you compliments. No one is there to give you answers. No one is there to connect you where you need to be connected. No one is there to give you what you need. So you find yourself in the midst of the wilderness. The good news about being in the wilderness is that you can cultivate your experience with God. See, when you truly follow God, he leads you to a crisis of belief where you have to choose what you, what you used to do that comfort zone, that place you know you don't belong, or you could go this way and really begin to pick up your cross and walk. See, in the wilderness, it's not all bad. You're able to find out so many things about yourself. See, in the wilderness, it ain't so bad because you're able to really solely rely on the one who created you. See, in the wilderness, it ain't so bad because the strongholds of loneliness, anxiety, depression, insecurities, and all of that, God will use that time to wash it all away. It's the separation in that wilderness that's necessary for you to get to the next level in your life. It's the separation from what you had in that wilderness that will cause you to really solely rely on God. It is the separation separation that you're having in this wilderness that is the most profound thing that you will ever have happen in your level of spirituality and consciousness. See, it's the separation in this wilderness, baby, that is preparing you, that is giving you experiences, that is releasing old habits and old strongholds up off of you, that is really, really cultivating an experience with God in you. It was the separation in the wilderness that is getting you where you belong. And until the next video, guys, mwah, peace, because I believe in your destination. Bye now.